Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys and today guys I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how to use the deasser in GarageBand. This is a very simple thing to do so make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end and follow my steps correctly so you can make sure this works the same for you and you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the official GarageBand application on your mobile phone if you have not already. If you do not have the application just go to the app store and download it and after opening it up you'll be greeted by this main page right here which is the home page where you can find all the instruments you can play you can get started with the audio recorder and so on so let's go ahead and see how we can get started with using that the asser effect on our tracks the first thing i'm going to do is open up the audio recorder you can open up any of the instruments it doesn't matter it's going to open up the same menu it looks like this where we can get started recording but what we want to do is go right here in the upper left corner and click on edit mode after clicking on edit mode it's going to open up this mixing mode where we can find all the tracks that we have right here as you can see we have our drums our keyboard audio record and so on and now we can start using the deasser effect basically guys the deasser is going to be available in our fx effect so right here as you can see there is an fx button at the top of the screen this is what you can do to get started with using the deasser so here is where you can go ahead and start get started with seeing your fx effects you can get started with playing them ad uh, adjusting them however you want and this is where you can get started with adding them but if you want to go ahead and add effects to your tracks to you see how it looks go to the sliders button right here and then you can go into plugins and equalizer where you can find the compressor and the visual equalizer as well as well as the effect equalizer and this is where your ds effects are all going to be that you can get started using but yeah guys basically that is how to do it so i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel so you guys thanks for watching take care and bye